yeah, so week two, we're just doing our morning morning things, and then we'll be heading out to the batch again. Um, we've got a bit of a, a plan of what we want to take out of there now, um, in terms of there's obviously still still cabinets and stuff, which you might have seen on the last video. We're going to try and save as much as possible. Not a huge amount to do at the moment, but on Monday, uh, in, in two days, two days time, um, which will be part of this video, uh, we'll be heading up to Auckland. We're going to have a look at a transportable home um, company. We're going to have a look and and see if there's a few designs and stuff that we've spotted that will work for us. Um, what we're kind of looking at is a. What I think would be ideal and what we're actually going to end up with are going to probably be two things. Ideally, I'd like a 12 by 4 um, cabin, uh, which like in terms of a tiny home sort of thing is going to be quite large. Um, I think we're going to have a lot of issues with the road and the driveway and getting stuff up there. So I think what we're going to end up is up with is like a 10 or 12 metre long by three and a half meters wide um, so bigger than bigger than like a shipping container size um, but not not too big so I think we're going to be able to get that up the driveway hi everyone it's Sarah in the background she's come out for a visit we're back here today we're just doing some more work on the batch so we've gone through and we've seen what timber we can use to make a table so we can um, keep part of the batch with us and we've also checked out the state inside. I basically teared through here and took out anything that's going to smash when we do demo. So today hopefully we can get that cupboard out, these drum, that drum and um, whatever that is, some building stuff, get that outside. So that's another step of ridding the house of glass. Then next time we come out, we'll be working on getting rid of the windows. So this is the aftermath of us going through. We just moved that cabinet over to here. Sarah's going to take that. So that will be a lovely memory for her of Nana's batch. Ryan has got a toy from his youth that he'd left behind. And Trina has got a planter that Nana used to have in the corner there. So that's really cool. We've um, taken off some of the boards to see what timber they are, see if it's native timber, see if we can use it for anything. We're hoping it is, so we've taken some of that. And we've moved things like the cylinder that was once there, the cooker and the gas bottle. And we've just got those last big things to move, like the bath. and take the windows out and then we're ready for demo. Thank you. Around a traffic jam. <laughs> <laughs> we've got a full car, we've got two kids in the back, me and Tara in the front. We're sitting in a traffic jam, trying to get to Auckland to get this cabin place. We've got to try and drop off a surfboard at a certain time and time's not on our side. Hungry? Yeah, I'm hungry. Oh, look at the sand out the back. <laughs> One of the kids is in the car seat. <laughs> it's all fun and games till the baby starts screaming. I'm on a YouTube video. Hello, world. <laughs> oh, good traffic! We managed to find one that's really going to work for us. Size-wise, we're looking at 12 meters long by 3.6 wide I think it is and that comes in a two bedroom layout single bathroom kitchen unit this video has been a little bit longer than expected getting out reason being we were going to release it uh, last weekend just gone uh, but unfortunately we got tied up with family stuff and we weren't able to get out as much as possible getting time to get out there and, and do something productive and that sort of stuff is, is getting tricky um, but that's that's I guess what we got to work through as well 
on the next video we should have a fairly good indication of the timeline of the build um, once we've signed all the paperwork and stuff uh, we, sh we should only be looking at about 12 to 15 weeks um, to, to get the cabin up there so there's a few things few major things that we need to get done in that time one is obviously demolishing the batch leveling out the land um, and then putting some retaining walls up because it is on quite the slope so hopefully we'll have all that for you on the next one um, and the, the journey continues